seven minutes, he's not going to have very much impact. Jarek's now hovering behind Weehar on the mid lane, maybe seeing if they, they can try and make something happen with mana. We'll move in with the cold snap, We Dropping down the clap and turning, getting some swipes in onto Jarek's, and Jarek's could be in trouble here. He's rolled into the mid lane, and he's going to end up potentially giving away first blood. Weehar needs one more touch. He he's should have the out. movement speed here, he gets the clap down, and Weehar already having a pretty good time in lane. Seven for three against the four for two. Now picking up first blood as well as because we are he's having a great start yeah two i would say two lanes one for and i think that the venomans are oh, yes, take that back to say venomans earth spirit are just a mess right now yeah it and misery coming in very close and personal and it does have kind of fly and jerex in the neighborhood Hovering around the mid lane as well, but they're gonna need to come over soon because Moon he's coming in with a level four rotation, just with a straight up run and a go with the battery assault. Anna in trouble, surrounded and taken down. Moon will tick down to the shadow word, but we he's moving forward, he's looking for more. Jarex is gonna roll in with the stun, trying to hold back the bear, but we he persists, takes down Fly, gets the double kill. We are now four kills in at four minutes, and back to base, nice and safely indeed. Already use a scan, but they ran through the river. On top instead. lane, no tail. Jumps in with the Omni Slash, takes down Moon Meander. Watching oh, this bottom lane because Resolution could be in trouble. They're moving in. Some strikes going to get dropped as they're trying to, to help get the kill here. He's ticking down to the Shadow Word. Moon is fast. That is too speedy for S4. And now they'll just turn, drop the Lucent Beam. S4 getting surrounded. He'll surge himself, try and dodge out into the tree line, but the right clicks on the ward is there. As OG to lose him. He's going to shoot. Oh, he's oh. going to shoot. Oh, it's not quite enough. Four. Oh, It's on point, but the damage isn't there. And Jarrett could potentially be in trouble. Not only him. It's mid lane where Anna dropping the ice wall, trying to tuck his tail and run. Mid lane. But they do end up losing Jarrett. And it, 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 again, we are finding more and more. No tail has an invis. He no does mana. not have the mana for a spin. And we he's just going to TP out. Nothing that they can do about it. Yes. Older away surges. Dark Seal will probably get a four staff. <coughs> yep. Bottom lane. No tail. So I'm not to resolution. Resolution is gonna have backup coming through a moon with a nice cog to keep no tail away from resolution and allowing DC to turn around and take him down. That's a very important kill. Yeah, very nicely done there. Five minutes have been really good for OG. Yeah, slowing things down definitely benefits them. Things were getting a little out of control in the first ten minutes of the game. Then we saw the missed hook shot. Jarrett. They've been oh. dodging a lot. Talking about the man coming straight onto Mumiana with a sun strike as well. S4 in the cosplay. A good hook shot as he gets himself out onto Saxa. Moon Meander with the escape. And OG can't find the kill. In fact, they may be in a bit of trouble themselves. DC looking to come back in on this. We are eyeing them up. He's got the Aegis so he can afford to play aggressively. He's down at he has. The Sunstrike already oh, yeah. What's he got? There's a little He's all. tempted. Oh, S4. He's being cheeky. And he, he's going to... Oh, oh, Resolution. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay. Oh, poor old S4. <laughs> poor old S4. Uh, the That's raindrops, rough. dude. Good old raindrops. That was, that was pretty questionable. Eight out DC. No four staffs for OG, so Mark gets them on. They're pretty stuck. Misery uh, does get the deny on the tower there very nicely. They see him. They were ward. Mm -hmm. Still going to go in on to Anna. Where's the backup here? We have it. OG looking to set something up. They'll hold on to the chaotic offering for now. Rolling forward onto Weeha, pushing him back. No tell. He's going to get the Omni Slash out. It's a good one as well with the chaotic offering. They find both Misery and Moon. So OG we had to push down the lane even more. DC with two down. Poison Nova was already used. They're not taking Rochelle. Yeah, we just gonna feel confident in just trying to finish it off here. OG has no way of getting vision in this pit other than Sunstrike. Use something big if they want to try and stop it. Rochelle falling low. We pass the BKB and picks it up. He's got it. Yeah, you see, they're gonna look to try and fight OG as well off the back of this. Is a good vacuum wall onto three with the combo for Jerex. That stun holding them in place, knocking down two, finding a third. What a combo there. Darkseer into the Earth Spirit. Ursa's gonna lose his ages as well, but it looks bad. Yeah, where oh. is Ursa? Woo! Blinked. Blink, teleport TP. out. Oh, oh Anna! Oh, oh. Okay, OG have just turned everything on. 
And they are going to get away with this kill as well. Oh, 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 he gets the Omni no tail. But one That's more swipe, but he could be dead. <laughs> the upheaval holding back. We are, though, an OG clean up everyone. Plus, getting across the Aegis kill on Ursa. was distracted. He had to use his BKB in the pit to secure yeah. the Roshan. Yeah. And... The rest of his team got comboed up by Dark Sea Air Spirit, so when they came to fight, it was... Oh! Moon catching Jerax mid four stuff. He'll drop the Magnetize. Jerax trying to do his best to stay alive. They can't quite roll out there. The Battery Assault holds him back. They'll lose the Earth Spirit. Weeha jumping into the midst of OG, moving forward onto S4. Finds the Dark Seer. DC to pick up two kills. One more. I up no tail. Weeha's actually just going to pop the BKP and run. Very, very scared of what OG can do in terms of punching back. Probably because of an Earth Spirit Silence. Yep. Not going to be the case now. He's ready. Mm -hmm. Alright, Jarek's behind. Sax is going to lead in with the Gale. Oh, that's four. Jumping four. Gets up back. Only on to one of them. Oh, drop the combo. He pops the poison over out. Weeha moving forward. Looking to rip down No Tail. No Tail has to use the Omni Slash to keep himself alive. But now he's surrounded. Can they finally finish him off? He's got the Blade Fury to back away. Moon coming in with the cogs. Blocking fly off in the middle of the fight. Weeha jumps in onto the backliners. Takes down No Tail. They've lost three here on OG. And Weeha's looking to chase down for more. Anna forces himself up. Jarex keeping himself to himself on the cliff. They have got the tools to kind of just fight through the team fight of OG. And and they need a blink on the Dark Seer ASAP. Yeah. They need a combo, a combo belt so that are low. Coming in onto No Tail, kind of forced into an awkward position. On the back lines, Wee's jumped in, he's removed Fly. Now DC looking to chase down for more. No Tail. Got the Manta, has the healing ward out. Good tornado from Anna. Now into the combo of the Meteor. With the Deafening Plus, bring them both incredibly low and gets the kill onto Misery. But at the same time, on the back of it, Moon continuing with these Axe hook shots on that low cooldown, jumping in again and again, forcing the side of OG to back up. And throw forward a stun. They have got the MP down on the ground. Moon could be in trouble. Tries for a hook out. He's not going to make it as Anna will be able to find him as well. Double kill for the Invoker. This time around, OG holding onto themselves pretty nicely. But I would imagine that it's oh. soon going to be time for Gemini, the one of these teams, to Wait. get that vision on their side. Oh, hello. Is he going to get to it? Because there is backup the, for Anna. So he doesn't block. want to reveal himself. He knows. He's pinging it out. He knows that there's someone there. And oh. now the, well, the Invis has actually run out. We are put the beacon in the axe and a good hook shot from Moon immediately onto Jerax. Oh, gee, how are they going to find around this? We've got the Shadow Word to keep Jerax alive. Chaos Media has dropped. Sakse oh. just jumped into the midst of it. But, oh, oh, the oh, it's still a cooldown. Two seconds. Finally gets it through. But some of OG already managed to get themselves away from it. Fly drops the counting offering. The vacuum into the Omni Slash from Notel. Getting two. OG have found themselves two kills so far. Can't they get any more? Notel dead. in trouble. We are working onto the Juggernaut. They've lost the Luna. Notel's going to keep himself alive. TP back to base. The rest of OG clean up. We are. What a scrappy fight. An OG fine four. Lose nothing, and I mean, poor old Sat. He blinks in, and he's like, "Oh God, that feeling when your ultimate's still on cooldown for two seconds." And he's like, "Don't mind me, guys." I was like, "Venom's in it's, there, like yeah, they're like, standing there." Do you think everyone on OG was like, yeah. "Holy shit, Venomancer's oh. here!" <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> this mess of Warlock and Earth Spirit and Darkseer walls. He's looking for a fight. Uh, fight DC to the ages. We're the group top here. No Tail's going to spot out Weeha. Weeha trying to get himself away. Has been silenced. No Tail. He's got the option to just go in and hammer down on him. They'll pop the Aegis. No Tail. Still got that Omni Slash. Saxa drops the poison over from the side of it, but didn't catch all of OG. Weeha pops the BKB in the enrage. No Tail jumps on him with the Omni Slash. They've got the Chaotic Offering there to cancel Weeha's attempt to TP out. OG find the Ursa. Weeha's down for 70 seconds and this man does not have buyback and OG ready to come in full force with a push. That was such a great healing word from Jug. Like, Sox dropped his ultimate but everyone's at full health. He dropped it like, it, tra it was trapped in a tree. There was no way you could have killed it with a healing ward unless you like placed it right in that oh, place boy. in the bushes. And Moon will hook in. Immediately stunned by Jarex in response. CMP is down as well with a definite blast. Moon forces himself out. Anna taking a lot of damage from Rezo as he moves him with the BKB on the Luna. Forcing forward. Trying to get nice themselves game. out. No test just going to go for the straight Blade Fury and TP. Here, let's get Moon with a great hook shot though. Catching on to Jarex. But these four staffs getting OG out of there. Anna with the Tornado holding back all four of DC. He's going to have a hook shot again in three seconds, Moon. Can he land it on anyone? That's the question. He's going to go for it blind. Oh, Jarek's just outside of range. And OG get everyone out back to safety. This is for 
for OG. He's, he's incredibly scary. Evoker is a super scary late game hero. Is he to the like point like level 20, maybe level 21 or 22? Yeah. They catch him. Yeah, actually getting a good hook shot onto No Tail. Cogging him back. No Tail again having to use the Omni Slash to keep himself alive. He needs a force though. They finish him off. Weehar jumps forward. He does need the backup. Greaves are going to be popped. There's one force. And indeed, we're seeing it time and time again how well OG could just keep each other alive using the force. Travel as well. Ultra Moon. To kick off the fight, drops the cogs down the middle, trying to break them up. They've got a good initiation onto No Tail. Caught on the front lines. He played through. tries to get himself out of this. We are. Comes in. OG. Backing off. Still sticking around them. Maybe see if they can reinitiate. We are questioning if he can get a jump in. It has him rage and PKP. Fly. A little bit far away from the team fight. It's so much better than a 4 7. It's like there's. That and all the four stabs. Oh, Anna with the cheeky stop moving. And now Resolution, in fact, going on the front of this. He pops the BKB. Now he's got to try and turn. He's going to try and utilize it, but he, he's still terrified. Uh oh, he has no BKB and now. And it's such a short duration. Now with the lead in Tornado from Anna's catches out. But Misery is a good jump in from the back. Sassy getting the poison over off onto multiple heroes. Moon chops down the cogs. Moving forward with the battery assault. Chasing down Fly. That looks like a loose Saxer potentially to no tail. No, the cog quite finish Saxer off. They'll drop the golems, but already DC splitting away from this. This time around, is DC kind of avoiding the fight. Looks like Moon will be the one to be left behind as OG do take down the clock eventually. But it's a one for one. A lot of all, well, I guess the chaotic offering be being dropped is more DC as well. Pop the, the poison over. Mutro, yeah, Mutro is not a bad idea. I'd go with Rapier. He already has Bloodlust. I don't think he needs more text. I think you get, you get Rapier instead of the Lance. You're that far behind. Oh. S4 actually whipping the vacuum and now return. Moon comes in. Cogs back S4 and S4's down. Good way for DC to start the defense and they want to try and use this to move on for more. Chasing down No Tail. Tornado from Mana holds back Rezo. Moon's going to have Hookshot again in a second. Can he hit it? Yes, he can. Here we go. Into Fly. He will get a Hex up in response, but this is going to allow Weehar to jump in onto Fly. DC, they find themselves a second. They get themselves anything more. Moon's going to have another hook in a bit. Jerax, he's juking it out. Ooh. Does blink the opposite way, so we'll manage to dodge that one. Because it's like so micro intensive, and you'll lose like a second of your BKB trying to micro your items. OG with this, I mean, is this a smoke to, to get a kill or? Oh, yeah, okay, they'll back up now as they see Weehar revealing in the mid lane. With a jump in S4, just the vacuum onto one, but it's allow them to get the stun very nicely done, and they take him out. No, He's down bad. for 85 seconds, and indeed, no way he can get back into the game. OG looking to punish for more. Four staffing, no tail forward. Moon sliding down to the south. Hook shots away. DC needs to make sure that they lose no one else. Saxon try for the TP out. Are they going to be able to cancel in time? No. Saxon will escape. And the rest of them do get back to base. Available. I think that they definitely want to at least force the buyback here. They just gone. Bring back the four staff. Jump on Rezo. Oh, he's been stoned. Rezo kicked back. Add Surspear in play, but Moon there with the swap out. Jumps in. Tags resolution down to low ground. It's a good chaotic offering from Fly. On to three. Pretty good upheaval. As Weehar going to use the buyback. Is he going to join his team race in this fight? Losing life. Getting themselves away. Misery's going to get caught out by the tornado. He will survive. Looks like everyone on DC does manage to get themselves back up to the base safely. So all in all, Kind of good news for DC, they're buying time, fighting outside of their tier 3, so Weehar will be back almost in, uh, in time to defend the racks at least. Back in 10, Moon looking into the mist of all, catching two out in the cogs. Resolution moving in, still has the Eclipse available. No test for the jump off with the Omni Slash, and he's going to take down Saxa. Saxa's out, he does not have fight, but they've lost Moon, he's out as well. Weehar now respawning. Resolution with the ult, trying to finish off. Jarek slides down, Resolution quick to follow, takes down the Earth Spirit, look at what's Fly, but Fly with the Keep himself alive. Hookshot from Moon jumps in as he uses the buyback to get back in to corner off No Tail in the cogs. Resolution falls though, and so does Misery. They've lost some big kills here. Rezo's going to have to buy back. The Colts now ripping Weed to pieces. Oh, He's down here. as well. Luna's TP'd in to the midst of OG. Rezo absolutely surrounded. And they're just calling GG already. It's all over. ZC tried their best on the defensive, but OG pulling it all together, punishing DC's mistake, taking game one. Four staffs were the bane of DC's game. Unfortunate to watch that team fight there. Moon, I think he played exceptionally well in the clockwork for shots. the most part. He landed a ton of his um, hook shots. He got that Aghanims in the late game when it was constantly landing them. But 
People just kept getting forced out of his cogs. They almost killed the Juggernaut there in that fight, and then he got four staff and then bounced off the cogs through the ice wall and through the wall of replica, and then nobody, everyone was like, I'm not going through there. <laughs> and then the upheavals at the end. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. The upheaval, like at the end, flies positioning. Upheaval. If you, you want to get to fly, you have to go through not only upheaval, but ice wall.